Hi everyone! Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do my makeup, what I use to do my makeup, can I post a video? Um, I want to just make it very clear, I'm not a professional. I get intensely nervous when I do makeup on other people, which has only been a few times. Um, I'm messy, I'm unorganized, and I always tell my friends when they ask me, what did you do, can you post a video, and I always say, I wing everything that I do. Um, my eyeshadow colors are, I never give myself the time to make them coordinate with my clothes. I kind of just pick out what I'm feeling at the moment. Um, and then I kind of base my clothes off of that. Or sometimes I might not even match my eyeshadow colors or my lip color. I don't really care. Today, I'm probably going to be wearing black or navy because I'm going to work after this. So really, any colors will do. Um, so here I am giving you what you want. I'm going to put a video together for you guys. Side note, like I said, I'm going to work after this, so I'm not going to be doing magnetic lashes. I have been getting a lot of questions about that. I'm not going to be doing them today because they do take some time to fool around with, and if you can't get it right on the first try, it might take 10 more tries before you get it, and unfortunately, I just don't have that time today, but I will try to put something together for you guys in the future on that. Okay, so first thing I do in my process is I start with my brows just to kind of fill them in and then once I'm done applying foundation and everything, then I will go back and touch them up. It's just how I like to do things. Um, I am using the Dip Brow Pomade and Taupe by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I also have this little um, pomade applicator brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. So here's what the top pomade looks like. And here's the lid if you're looking for it in the store. Um, a lot of products I get, I get from Ulta. Um, and you can find this there as well, as well as the brush. So I'm just taking a little bit and applying it to the brush. And then I'm going to go in on the base of my eyebrow. And just kind of follow that arch. Always brush your eyebrows up first, which I did before I started filming this video because, God forbid, I didn't do that. I wouldn't be able to post this. <laughs> okay. When I was in high school, I overplucked my eyebrows terribly. I mean, I call them drag queen eyebrows. They were literally pencil thin, just a line on my face. Um, so it's very tough for my eyebrows to grow back, which is why you'll see a lot of hair under here. It takes me like three or four months to get them to grow where I want them to be, and then I'll get them waxed again. Now I'm gonna take some of the pomade and start to fill in the ends, and then I'll go toward this way so it's darker on the ends than it is in the front. I know this is not an ideal technique for some um, people to do their eyebrows, a lot of people fluff out the color. I've never been able to get that down. Um, so I kind of, I go in with the color on my entire brow. All right, so that brow is good for right now. Um, I've also never done makeup in my phone before, so forgive me. Um, I do have a little magnifying mirror sitting next to me um, that I'm looking in when I feel a little bit insecure about what I'm doing on here. Just wiping off some of the excess from my brush. Going back in, I'm gonna fill in this side.
All right, so I just went back in and made the top of this one a little bit thicker. Again, this is not the final product. You'll see how I get there. And remember that your eyebrows should be sisters, friends, what is it? <laughs> no, sorry, okay, blooper. Um, your eyebrows should be friends, not sisters. I was gonna say sisters, not twins. I guess that kind of works as well. You're never gonna get them the same. Don't spend too much time on it because you're gonna end up with one that's this big and one that's super thin. And then you're gonna be pissed off and then you're gonna have to start all over again. So who wants to do that? All right, so next is applying my concealer. I apply it here um, and then I bring it up to my eyes because that's what I'll use for the primer on my eyes as well when I go in and do my eyeshadow. I am using um, Shape Tape in Fair Beige. I'm very fair, it's a very light color. I've been using this for years and I don't think I'll ever use anything else for concealer. There's enough product to go around, trust me. And just blending that out so it's not so harsh on my face. And that's what we have there. A lot of people will do the forehead, the nose. I do that later. Um, and I use a little NYX Wonder Stick for that when I'm doing my contouring. It's creamier um, and I like the way that blends better on my forehead and on my nose. Today I'm going to be using the Chill Baby by Kylie Jenner palette. Chris got me this for Christmas. I wanted it so bad. These colors are so beautiful. I've hit these quite a few times as you can tell and you can probably also tell what my favorite colors are. <laughs> um, so I am going to start with Wrap It Up which is this pink color right here. Here's the brush that I'm using. And I'm just going to start a little base on the eyelid and up into my crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with Make It Magic, this tan color. And I'm just gonna put that in my crease and then down onto my eyelid. And then bring that into the corner of my eye. I breathe really hard, sorry guys. <laughs> kind of just buffing the color out.
Next, I'm gonna go in with Bundle Up, this sort of deep rose color. Work that into the crease, but I'm not gonna bring it all the way into the center. Okay, so right now it's looking a little wild. I realize that. So I have this little fluffy blending brush that I use. This came in an I Ipsy pack that my friend got years ago. It's my favorite brush ever. So now I'm just gonna blend this out. The circular motion works very well. It brightens up that rose color on the end. It doesn't make it so dark, so harsh. Um, sometimes I do prefer that look, so I might go in a few times with the red. That's more of a winner look. This is gonna be more of a rose mauve. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Jungle Baby, which is this shimmer right here. I use my pinky. These colors are very foil like they are so so beautiful. I really love her eyeshadows. They are highly pigmented. The shimmers apply beautifully. And the more layers you put on, the better it's gonna look. Pinks, browns, reds, those are my favorite colors. And I'm just gonna fluff that into the rest of my eyeshadow so it blends. Okay, next is eyeliner. I use the NYX Epic Liner in black. Don't know how well I'm gonna do in my phone, so I might be switching over to my mirror, but I will do my best to show you. Okay, I'm switching over to my mirror. Okay, so there's eye number one. <laughs> this is so awkward, I'm sorry guys, here you go. Okay, so eyeliner is done. Um, I had a little bit of an anxiety moment trying to get this done for you, I realized it's not easy to show you what I'm doing when I'm looking in my mirror so I promise I will practice at that I will get better important notes um, for myself I kind of start by drawing the bottom line to my wing and then I bring it in and I will color and fill that in um, and then I I'll stop about right here and then I'll go in from the corner of my eye and draw up and then I'll fill in that line to go from thick to thin I just went in and did my top lashes um, with this Bad Girl Bang by Benefit, and this is just in black. 
I also still use the eyelash curler. Um, my lift has kind of worn out, so I use eyelash curler and I do about 10 presses on each eyelid. Um, and that will give you a nice curl to base everything off of. This is amazing. Again, probably a product that I won't switch away from. Doesn't flake. Um, it's just great. I'm not going to do my bottom lashes until last after I spray my face so that way it doesn't bleed on my under eye. All right, so next is going in and doing foundation. Foundation, another product that I probably won't stray away from. I'm telling you these products are my absolute favorite. Um, what works for me might not work for somebody else, but these products have worked for me for about two years now, and I'm just in love with them. So I use Too Faced Born This Way, and this is in porcelain, I believe. Yes, this is in porcelain. Um, I also mix a little Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. This stuff is amazing. My, I have combination skin. Some days it's super, super dry. Some days it's sort of oily. Um, this really helps on the days that are dry so it doesn't give me such a chalky look on my face. Okay, so I'm shaking up the bottle. I've put about three pumps of foundation on my hand. This stuff is super messy, you guys, so um, keep it somewhere, maybe under, put a paper towel under it or something because it can leak down the sides and it is super messy. So here's what it looks like, so pretty. Do super light drops because you will get oil stains on your clothes um, or wear something um, that doesn't really matter to you, basically. Um, so I am starting to use a fluffy brush. I was using a flat foundation brush, um, but I watched a video the other day of Alexa, Alexa Demi from Euphoria do a 90s glam tutorial on Vogue and she suggested using a fluffy brush so I've recently been using that and it works just as well. You have to go into your hairline. It's annoying. If you have blonde hair, sometimes it, when I have my roots done, it might make it look a little dingy, but you have to do it because you don't want that line. You want it to blend and make it look flawless like it's your own. Then I kind of go in the center here and lightly brush because I've done my nose up to here and I've done my forehead right here and I kind of have to bring them in together and you also want to try as best as you can to work that in under your brow. If not, you're going to have giant white spots that don't match the color of your foundation. Now I'm going to take a beauty blender and I just pat my face with that to smooth any brush strokes which working with the fluffier brush, it's, it reduces the brush strokes um, that you would have with the flat foundation brush. So I do like that. Kind of have to pull my kimono down on this. This kimono my friend Nicole got me um, for my wedding and I absolutely love it. I wear it all the time when I get ready. Thank you, Nicole. All right, so now I'm going to blend down into my neck. This is another very important step. It feels weird. 
it feels like, oh my God, I don't want to have this stuff sitting on my neck all day. I know, I know, I know, ladies and gentlemen, but you have to do it. You do not want that foundation crease on your neck where it stops. It looks terrible. I'm here to tell you, it looks terrible. I also go behind my ears a little bit. You definitely want to make sure you get up like right in here as well I know again it's so funny but you have to do it to make sure everything blends looking pretty good right um, normally I do two layers of foundation um, but I think we are looking kind of good with just the one layer today I put a lot of extra product on the brush I'm still getting the feel of how much to apply while I'm doing it. Next is contouring. So I'm going to start with a cream contour. And this is just the NYX Wonder Stick brush in light slash medium. And I'm going to go in with the bronzer side. And draw down in the direction of the corner of my lip from about the center of my ear. Gonna go right under here, kind of make, it'll kind of make your bottom lip look a little bit more plump. This part you need to draw super, super lightly because as you can see, this is pretty thick. There's not a point to it. There might have been when I first got this, but it's been quite some time. All right. And this is what I was telling you about when I do the concealer here rather than using the shape tape. Okay. Looks amazing. I know. Now I'm blending and buffing out my cheeks. Now I'm blending out my forehead. My nose. I know I don't need to tell you guys what body parts these are, but <laughs> just to guide you in the right direction. I do not do these in any particular order except I do always do my cheeks first and a lot of times forget about the part under my lip until I go to do my lip liner and notice I have this huge line underneath. Oh, cute. Now I'm gonna blend the concealer. Take this straight down. And then I'm going to bring this up into the bronzer that I put, that I lined my forehead with. And I'll go back with my little bronzer blender and then bring that down as well so it all blends together.
All right, we are blended. Now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set my entire face. This part also gets a little messy. I use a big powder brush for this and I'm just gonna dip this all around in here. It gets everywhere, but it is translucent. So once you wipe it, you won't be able to tell. And then I'm gonna powder this onto my face. And this will set that foundation, um, not make it so shiny. Going on my neck as well. I'm kind of like patting it onto my skin. Next, I use this Hampton Weekender, Hampton's Weekender Contour Palette by Tarte, another product I swear by. I use this for blush, bronzer, and found, or I'm sorry, blush, bronzer, and highlight. As you can tell, I went to work on the highlight, so I have a brand new one just for the highlight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over all the places that I applied the bronzer with powder that will set that as well. And if you work up in a circular motion, it will fluff that out. We are gonna go back and blend it again but it does kind of cut off some of the work for you when you're already trying to blend it as you're applying. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my blush. And I have another powder brush for that as well. And don't use a lot of this. I'm warning you, lightly brush the blush onto your brush. Looks kind of crazy right now. We're going to blend it. Now I'm going to take that Laura Mercier translucent setting powder again and I'm going to do under my eyes. This time I take a beauty blender. Right up to the bridge of the nose where we contoured. And then I also do right under where I did my cheekbones. And we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. Um, I have never been big on watching YouTube videos. Um, to learn how to do my makeup, I do watch a little bit of like Instagram clips. I do have some influencers that I follow. A lot of my tips that I've gotten are from my friend Danielle Lemoyne. Um, her Instagram or makeup account is at Danielle, or I'm sorry, at X Danielle, X M U A, and X, another X on the end. Um, I will drop her at in my description. Um, I went to her with a million questions a few years ago when I first wanted to start doing my makeup and she really, she was there for me. She really talked to me through a lot of things and got me to where I am today. Also my friend Jasmine, um, she really taught me a lot about contouring because I've 
freaked out quite a few times like what am I doing wrong why doesn't it even look like I've done anything um, so those two ladies have helped me tremendously now we're gonna go back in and clean up the brows this is the fun part because it ties everything together I just am kind of defining some lines that got a little blurred as I was doing the powder and foundation. Brush those brows up, my friends. Brush them up. I do draw my eyebrows out a little bit to create a fade, but also it gives it a base for when I do what I'm about to do next, which is drawing the fake hairs on the ends of my brows. Also one of my favorite things to do. Um, and I appreciate you watching me while I grab all these things off of my vanity because I'm not set up and again, I warned you in the beginning that I'm not organized, so don't hold it against me. So this is the Brow Wiz and top. It has a brush end, and then it has a little tiny liner end. I don't know how well you can see that. Okay, there we go. Um, I will take this and I will draw onto a piece of paper towel to get a really, really sharp end on this. And that's what's gonna help me do my lines. I'm also going to draw a line out from my eyebrows. All right, there's the line that I drew. Now I'm going to take this tip and I'm going to draw upward to create those little lines. So there's eyebrow number one. I'm going to go in and kind of sharpen this up again. This tip I got from my friend Heather Grando because she has the most flawless brows and it, they always look so bushy on the ends and standing up perfectly. And then I found out that it was just makeup. Thank you, Heather. And you want to make these look natural. So feather them out on the ends, feather them into the top of your brow, whatever you have to do. So there is brow number two. Next, I'm going to just take a little bit of shimmer and put it under my eyebrows to highlight them. And I use this Stilla Kitten, it's so old, Jasmine got it for me that I mentioned earlier um, because I love these types of colors. She got this for me and I've, whoops, I've been using it for a long time. So now I'm going to take another little flat shadow brush and just go right under here. Under the arch. It is exactly what I said. It is a little highlighter for under your brow. Okay, next I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I love this stuff. I just recently started using this and I'm going to work my eyebrows up and this is exactly what it is. Gel, exactly what it says. Gel for your brows. I don't sweat my brows off or anything, but I do like them to be brushed in place so I don't have to worry about that. Now I'm going to get this powder off of my face. And if you draw that line up with your powder, it'll kind of um, 
put a crease on the end of your eyeshadow, which is always nice. All right, so that part's over. Now I'm gonna take a brush, another, um, it's the same exact brush that I use for my blush, and this is real, a real technique brush. It's super, super fluffy. I keep getting this sleeve caught on everything, I'm sorry. And that's what I'm gonna use to blend all of this out. These red spots are mine. From my face. <laughs> this is taking forever. I know my husband tells me all the time, you're taking forever. Next is the highlighter. So here's the brand new palette. Way more beautiful than the other one. Again, this is the Tarte Hampton Weekender. Hampton's Weekender palette, whatever. Contour palette, you got it. Now I'm gonna use a little highlighter brush. Go right here. This stuff also smells like milk chocolate. It's amazing. I love products that have that candy smell. One time I was in LA with my friend Gabby and I met her friend Sadie that night. Shout out to Gabby and Sadie. And Sadie took this little cheap um, highlighter brush that I still have. It's like, it's so cheap, but it actually probably applies a bit better than this. And she went in on our highlighter. She, and I think about it all the time. Every time I do my highlighter, I think you use Sadie. She's also a makeup artist. Um, and she went so aggressive on our cheekbones and they ended up so beautiful. Thank you for showing me that, Sadie. Now I'm gonna do the tip of my nose. Look at that, beautiful. My little Cupid's bow, just to kind of make that look more prominent and now i'm gonna do um, the bridge of my nose with my pinky just get a little product on there and go straight down and then i kind of just rub up and down to blend that in okay so my face is pretty much done um, i'm going to real quick apply a lip primer um, this is Too Faced Lip Insurance Original. I love this stuff. Um, apply that right on the lips. I did lie when I said the face is done. I didn't do anything with the under part of my eyes so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna bring out that chill baby palette again and I'm gonna take a very very thin brush to get close up to my lash line and I'm gonna use this um, dark rose bundle up color again And I love to flare out the bottom of my shadow or the shadow on my bottom lash. Do I even know what I'm saying? No, just like my hair tutorial. I'm just kind of saying random things and they're not really making sense. Now I'm gonna take that trusty fluffy brush again and Blend that out. And I'm gonna go back and take that Stilla um, kitten again and do the inner corners of my eye with that. You guys are really getting up close and personal with me today. Um, yeah, <laughs> amazing, right? You love the chin, the chin shots when I'm reaching across for stuff and hearing me drop and slam stuff. It's amazing, I know. So 
So I like to work that up into the inner crease of my eye and then down into this little spot where, um, right above where the eyeshadow fans out. And I love this to be super bright, so I will do it a few times. There we go. Now I'm gonna spray my face um, and get that set. So that way I can do my bottom lashes and I'm also going to do my lips. Here is the NYX Dewy Finish. I also use the matte one as well. Right now I'm really into the Dewy for summer. Here's my technique for applying setting spray. X, cross, and then swirl, 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 and then whatever you wanna do after that. And um, my friends will tell you my makeup will last forever. I've fallen in water before, come out, thought my makeup was all over the place, my mascara was still in place, my lipstick didn't move, my highlighter was still on. It's one of my favorite stories to tell. Okay, again, not done with my face again because I'm an idiot keep forgetting little things. Just going in with a NYX keeping it tight liner for my waterline, lash line. Because I have light eyes, it doesn't look too great. I have some powder on my lashes. It doesn't look too great when I bring this all the way in. It makes my eyes look very small, so I just do the corner. Okay, there's that. Now we're gonna do those bottom lashes. I'm also gonna kind of brush over my top lashes because I have some powder on them. Okay, so that's eye numero uno. Always have your Q-tips handy so you can clean up those little messes on the bottom. Although I do prefer a Tammy Faye look with my bottom lashes. Um, I go in with the tip and then I brush them out as best as I can. Now I'm going to be lining my lips with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. This is in 1993. Thanks for watching me do that. I know it was so amazing. I have five million lipsticks. Today I'm gonna try to find a more brown color, although I think most of them are in my purse or a book bag um, because I use them a lot. Let's see, That's, this is not the color we're going for. Um, so I'm just going to resort to this really pink color and then I'm going to blend that in. This is Petal by Anastasia Beverly Hills.
how we looking. What do you think? Let me go in and clean up that bottom lash. I think I dropped all of my Q-tips. So that's fun. We're gonna call it a day. I have to get dressed and go to work. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm crazy. Um, I hope maybe you like that. Um, so I am done for the day. This is just a short little glam video. I know short, this is probably about 50 more minutes than most practical ladies or men spend on their makeup. So I do apologize for dragging this out. I need to stop being so apologetic. I also feel like I'm sorry for that as well because I feel like um, if you guys love me, you'll give me feedback on if I just need to stop running my mouth or maybe you enjoy that. I don't know. Just rambling on and on and on. Anyway, if you guys like this, please let me know. I'm really enjoying the feedback that I am getting from all of you. It means so much to me that you're willing to watch my video and tell me what you think or tell me if you took something away from it. Everything is so appreciated. Thank you all so much and I love you guys. Bye.